Pacific countries like UAE and Saudi, they have all those strategies being built for the future. It's becoming a center of gravity today for AI. I think we're very well advanced, we're one of the most advanced countries, and like specifically the United Arab Emirates and Saudi are becoming one of the most advanced countries when it's coming to AI. We are not followers, we're leaders today. Everyone wants to work with United Arab Emirates and Saudi to build that AI strategy. Thank you for visiting us here at AMD's booth in Jitex. So my name is Mohamed Jaoub, I'm a senior manager with AMD, handling the FAE team within the uh, Meta region. Our team is basically the team responsible to being the front line uh, in our technical business, especially within the sales team and sales support. Uh, we handle most of the pre-sales and solution architecture uh, responsibilities within the company in this region. So it's, uh, it's a wide question for us because, you know, as AMD, we are actually having a whole spectrum of components, whether we start from the laptops all the way towards the AI. And the, uh, due to what things are happening today, you see like everything, everywhere you're talking about AI, if we talk about let's focus on the AI part and the people who want to deploy AI, there's multiple challenges that we see because it's somehow still a new niche technology, everyone discovering something new every now and then. So with AI, what we're seeing today, let's say in the data center, is that the first things first is um, when it comes to power, you know, power and energy. Most of the data center we've seen probably has been deployed three or four years back when people thought like an eight kilowatt rack would be sufficient to power a system. But if you look at today, we're looking at systems which require probably 13 to 16 kilowatts per node to run. And the, believe it or not, this is one of the main challenges that customers are facing, is that the data center capacity, is it available? Do we have enough power? Do we have enough space? So that's on the, let's say, the data center part. And when you go back towards, let's say, AI on the edge or on the laptops, many people are starting to find what's the right way I can use it. Yes, it is confidential. It is something that you can use on-prem, something that you do not need a cloud to use, something you don't need a network to use. But it's how do I get to utilize it in the best way to be able to use that new combination of a CPU, integrated GPU, and an NPU. Where today, for example, if you look here, we're showcasing how you can actually optimize it. We've been running use cases where you can actually run multiple models, three models on the same system, where some of them is optimized to be running on uh, the compute parts of the CPU, uh, the other model is running on the iGPU, and how we can you know, uh, optimize this also to run on the NPU as an LLM. Great question. Um, so, and, and that's, that's why we're here today, right? So that's, that's why AMD is in the region and why AMD has like that extensive portfolio and that extensive team members and different, you know, different uh, job titles and different job positions. What we do today with customers is to take their hands all the way from the pilot project all the way towards the end and when they come to production. So the challenges they mainly face and it's like they sometimes need guidance on how to make that particular equipment for use. It's how, for example, how, what model do I need to use? If we're talking about AI, uh, what use cases do we need to build? How can we build it? Or if I have something which is already existing, can you help me optimize it running on uh, your AMD GPUs? Uh, that's what we do, that's one part of it. We also support them with the full solution designs when it comes, for example, to data center designing. Networking is becoming another crucial part. And that's, for example, where we help them, either when designing that network part, when in a data center, or also where we provide, for example, today AI Next from AMD that can support that strategy. So how we can support customers today is that we take their hands from the beginning all the way from the first conversations where we speak about AMD and how it can support the customer all the way towards where they can go to market and they can start running their products. That's, uh, that's true. We've always been proud about this strategy, right? Uh, I joined probably back in 2020, and that's when that strategy started. That point of time, it was weird when you go and speak to customers about energy savings. They're like, why are you talking to me about it? I mean, everything is running fine. But we had uh, you know, a long-term vision. We expected that, we anticipated that. So today, if you look at our systems, we are actually the most efficient systems that you can get, regardless of what portfolio, what platform we're talking about. So. That has helped us a lot, help our customers, because whoever has adopted AMD already, they probably have better capacities to run for the future compared to whoever did not move that towards that strategy. And that's something we have been always proud of. We always spoke to our customers about it. It's being like 30 times more efficient by year 2025.
Um, I believe so, yes. So the uh, region here, it does have a technical skill gap, but we have seen this gap being a little bit closing day and night, right? And we see the government is also participating in helping and supporting and filling that gap. So you see all the initiatives which is happening, whether it was on a local level or a Middle East level, we always have those initiatives which is running today to support the, uh, the local people and the people who are living in residence of those countries to get and start working on AI, to get and get their hands dirty with AI, let's say with coding, with learning different, uh, you know, how to optimize things, how to train things and how to influence things. And it's not only about the talent that, so, and you see that also acquire lots of the talent. So you, in Jitex, you see lots of people, they just been here for like two or three years. And that's because the countries has acquired those talents from abroad to make sure that we're building that strategy within like Dubai or the United Arab Emirates. And I think that gap will be filling up soon. But yes, there has been a gap, but I think that gap is being filling up soon as we speak because either, but. Uh, the UAE has acquired lots of talent locally from abroad and we've built lots of talents locally here in the region. It's very high, right? So uh, it's becoming like, so uh, Dubai, UAE and the Middle East in general, like, you know, specific countries like UAE and Saudi, they have all those strategies being built for the future. It's becoming a center of gravity today for AI. So if you look at all the initiatives which we've done. We're talking about either strategies, we're talking about how can we regulate, how can we have a law that manages AI as well, which is happening in those countries. We're talking about as well, we spoke about the talent acquisition, we talk about how we're building talents, and you can see those strategies there, you know, uh, that the country is building to make sure we future-proof when it comes to AI, either by supporting what I mentioned before, you see all the advancements coming in the infrastructure to support AI, so I think we're very well advanced. We're one of the most advanced countries, and like specifically the United Arab Emirates and Saudi are becoming one of the most advanced countries when it's coming to AI. We are not followers, we're leaders today. Everyone wants to work with United Arab Emirates and Saudi to build that AI strategy. Why is that? So the thing is, uh, when you say AMD, it's like uh, it's hard to define a sector because when, we, when you say AMD, we're talking about multiple sectors, and again, it's a very broad portfolio. So we cater for literally every sector in the market. We cater for everyone. If you're a small retailer, we've got something that can support you in the edge. If you're into finance, we've got all those products that can support you either in transacting or you know uh, low latency networking that's needed for trading. If you're into energy and this is something we're very proud of. Like if you're doing high performance computing, uh, we have been the, uh, I would say, the lead when it comes to high performance computing. If you look at our portfolio, we have the fastest supercomputers in the world. We've got great initiatives in the region with the energy sector. All of those systems are actually running on AMD. And of course, the governments, we cannot forget them, right? So the governments are the ones who are driving all those AI strategies and we're very well aligned. And you've seen the announcements probably through the past year or two where we have been actually influential in building those strategies within the countries by partnering with the right entities within uh, those Middle Eastern countries.